Well, kia ora. Hey, but I thought um, before I did uh, any type of application or put anything on paper, I just wanted to do a quick video just to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Paul Rangiwa here. Um, I'm a wellbeing advocate, do a lot of stuff based around um, art. You have seen uh, the rocket ship. This is uh, one of my latest guides. And where I'm having a lot of um, cut through um, here locally in Taranaki, but right throughout the country, is, is just taking... Um, quite complicated stuff as in mental health and, and making it a bit more um, simple and making it more accessible through art so that the whole uh, thinking is if we can see change, um, if we can start to hear change, a similar type of you know language and hopefully we can start to feel change. And I thought this was a really good opportunity to introduce myself to BCITO uh, and, um, and get a, a, a deeper sense of, um, you know, where we can... I guess a line. So my original thought was to uh, create a, um, a a piece of theatre, you know. So for an hour or fifty minutes, there was a production. Someone was on stage. This is the the theme of of the play. It's the rocket ship. So I can I can see a multimedia type thing. So like a big screen behind, playing lots of imagery, um, really uh, upbeat, and trying to connect with with a younger audience. So I see this being toured around the the, the, the schools in New Zealand and secondary schools coming along to a bigger theatre over the course of a day or two for that particular area and getting to um, connect and be entertained. Um, but hopefully sow that seed around the importance of well-being. And as um, you know, as much as I do around things like apprentice and young people, one of the challenges that we have is, is really um, you know, helping them in, in terms of their wellness, their state of being, and so that they're in a position where they can make those decisions you know, to enter into the workforce with confidence and to have really great strategies in place uh, to help them you know, uh, ride the ups and downs of life that we all, you know, endure and uh, uh, are faced with. So it, it's the want to be really aspirational. And the great thing about being able to connect with an audience through entertainment, so you can imagine, you know, by the end of the play, a rocket would be would be formed and all these props would be used in, in different ways. But the, the goal is then, is once that connection is made, is then to provide them with, you know, a guide, that they can create their own wellness plan. And they've actually got something that they can follow and have a plan in case things happen. And so I, I think there's a, a nice sort of alignment um, in terms of BCITO, uh, you know, getting behind something like this, saying, hey, look, we really believe it's a, it's a massive, you know, a block in the foundation. It's getting that bit right. So if we can help promote it, um, you know, through secondary schools, then we think that's a really, really good thing because people who are leaving school, going into apprenticeships, going into work, you know, if they've got that in place, they've been able to, you know, um, talk more openly, be more vulnerable, have um, a plan, practice, you know, different things, resilience and so forth, then um, we'll have, you know, people who are more work ready and, and, and life ready and have that greater self-awareness. So I just thought I would share that before I did anything. Look, again, if you come out and that, that's great. Um, then I'll put something um, more uh, concrete together. The, the person that I've got, uh, that I'm working with in terms of creating the, the, the stage show is currently doing another stage show. Um, so they, they're, they're a few weeks away from creating that, probably next early next month. I better sit down and actually make a, a better plan. But really, the, the, the crux is that we want to create that... Um, one man, you know, really simple to, to travel around, a little tour, might have one support person, but really low cost model. Test it here in, in, in Taranaki, and it works really well. We can stretch it out and do a few more regions and, and get a feel, you know, for, for where we're at. And if it's really great, then get right behind it and push it around and plan out a whole national tour. You know, because I think that we've got a really huge opportunity to, to do things a little bit differently, you know, and, uh, and I think art and, and entertainment is, is a better way than telling kids what they should think. We need to help them arrive at a place where we think, well, that just makes sense. What I've seen, what I've heard, it just makes sense. You know, where can I find out more? Anyway, um, have a look at the video and come back to me again if you think, yes, this is this is something that's good. It also aligns into uh, um, Hawada and School Awards, which is a national awards I'm rolling out. And that's about elevating the great um, wellbeing initiatives that have been done in schools throughout the, throughout the country. So it's got a nice um, synergy um, going on. And... and It'll be a great opportunity to promote that as well. So I think 
um, we can really elevate the importance of uh, you know, being at your best as often as you can. All right, cheers, bye.